Brad. YouTube Brad Cox Savage. Yeah. Hey, you know, We're not like and subscribe. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that's it, boys. Fucking Cheech and... What's uh, up? Fred Cost Sandwich. Yeah, right. Time for bail! separated which it was a good 10 years so what the hell right anyway I, uh, I noticed I wasn't feeling good a little uh, kind of like a slug gained a little bit of weight and uh, just didn't have any energy to do anything I was you know I'd, I'd run out of breath in situations where I shouldn't have been I uh, didn't pay much mind to it. I was having blinding headaches and back aches and um, my feet always hurt. Just didn't feel good at all. Uh, one day I was at work and I got a serious back ache. It just wouldn't go away. It felt like my back was just cramped up and wouldn't stop. So uh, I started to get that blinding headache and my heart was racing and felt like I was turning green and sweating and you know I reached up and felt my heart rate you know make sure I wasn't over revving or something weird and uh, it just fucking stopped pretty scary uh, so I'm standing there with my heart seized up and uh, I turned to my boss and I said man I don't know what's wrong with me but I gotta go and he looked at me and He's had a few heart attacks and stuff, and he looked at me and he was like, are you having a heart attack? And I was like, I don't know, just get me to the hospital. So I'd never seen him drive like that before, but uh, he got me to the hospital and uh, I went to the front desk and started to get lightheaded and stuff. And I told a lady, you know, I swear I think I might be having a heart attack, you gotta check this out. Um, before I knew it, I was in a wheelchair and being whisked to the back. They put me in the bed and hooked everything up to me and uh, um, so everything was okay, my heart was beating right, they, they checked everything, they said you're alright for right now, we're just going to watch you for a little bit. And it had been a long day, it was towards the end of the day, I was pretty tired and my back hurt so bad, it, it, I couldn't stop tearing and shaking and I was like well you know. I'm just gonna try to go to sleep. So, you know, I kind of turned my head to the side, closed my eyes and went to sleep. Next thing I know, my body's on fire. There's 20 people in the room screaming at each other. Lights and buzzers and shit going off everywhere. And, um, you know, I was like, what the fuck's going on? And they wouldn't answer me at first. So I finally, you know, I grabbed the nurse's arm and I was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And uh, she said, you had a heart attack. You were out for about a, a minute, minute and a half. And, uh, well, I didn't find that out until later, but she said, you had a heart attack and you were out. And uh, I was like, oh man, I passed out. She said, no, you were dead. And I was like, no shit, you know? 
what a fucking trip. I died, really. She's like, yeah, you were, you were no signs. And uh, that was pretty tough. Um, you know, I was awake after that. I was fucking afraid to go to sleep at that point, you know. So they transferred me to another hospital where I met my surgeon, great guy, Dr. Gupta. I looked him up. He's, he's top notch, man. Like, I'm so lucky I got him. But anyway, that night they said, we got to get you in. We got to get those stents in you. You know, this could happen again at any moment. And of course, I was like, fuck you. I got kids, work, you know, all the shit. And he's like, well, go die if you want. But if I was you, I'd be heading to surgery around one, one, two o'clock this morning. And he said, he, you know, he'd, he'd be there for me. You know, he'd stay up and get it done. Um, so, you know, what are you going to do? Say no. So I went ahead and, and let him do the surgery. And when I got out of surgery, he told me that I, I had two arteries in my heart that were a little bit deformed and all the junk was collecting there and uh, causing uh, blockage. Uh, I believe it was 70 and 85, 70 on one, 85 on the other. And these are the two main ones. One controls, I guess, your heartbeat, the other one, I don't know. Anyway, the operation went good. They put uh, the stents up through my groin and uh, that fucking hurt. <laughs> I was in the uh, ICU for probably a week after that. Um, the entrance wound where they went in had started bleeding again. And uh, yeah, it takes about a minute and a half to die from that if they don't stop it. Um, Yugi, UG, was my nurse at the time. Um, beautiful young black woman from Africa. She was just amazing. But uh, she held pressure on it for about 45 minutes. Serious screaming, pain, crying. I want my mommy kind of fucking pain for 45 minutes. It made her cry. It was just, it was tough. So, you know, kudos to everybody in that hospital. Amazing people. Um, so, after her holding pressure for that long, one of the other nurses finally found this contraption to put around my waist and hold pressure on it so the nurse didn't have to hold it anymore. And that fucking hurt. So, fast forward two weeks later, they let me out. And uh, I'm pretty fucking lost, you know. Looking at three weeks being off of work. Um, I had enough money saved up to get through it, but it's still scary. Um, since my girl moved out, I've had probably an extra $1,500 in utility deposits and all that stuff to get everything into my name. Uh, of course, my transmission and my Crown Vic went out, so I had to have somebody else uh, put a new one in. That was. $1,500 at Tony's Transmission. Great guys in Peoria. Fantastic job. Um, but then, uh, you know, I had to sit around for three weeks and uh, my body deteriorated, deteriorated really bad. Uh, I was just, I lost 30 pounds. My muscle was gone, flabby, just feeling like a fucking slug. The medication just seriously fucking me up. They switched me. Now I'm on one that's, uh, it makes you emotional pretty bad. So I deal with that. 
but I finally got through the three weeks. I got back to work. I was feeling okay, but still shitty because you know I just I just lost it. You know I lost all of my weight and everything. No muscle. My strength was gone. So it was pretty hard to work. Um, and then I got into physical therapy, which at first was hard as fun. Now I love it. Everybody there is great. Um, let's see if I got a card to give a shout out. Um, these people were just amazing and still are. Uh, Banner Thunderbird Medical Center Cardiac and Pulmonary Rehab. Um, I don't remember everybody's name right now, but I can tell you these people are great. They've been nothing but, but perfect, you know. Um, I do get yelled at for overdoing it, but, uh, you know, that's my fault. Anyway, everything's good now. I'm, uh, I'm feeling awesome. I work out two, three times every day, plus the physical therapy. Uh, the muscles coming back. My back doesn't hurt anymore. My feet don't hurt anymore. I don't get the blinding headaches. Um, my diet is, it doesn't get any better than what I'm eating now. Uh, and I don't cheat. So I'm gonna be a badass soon enough. Uh, so with all that behind me, I'm going to start making more videos and uh, hopefully uh, everything works out well. I'll be taking some trips in the sand rail and back in the Vic and doing crazy stupid shit. It's going to be nice out so I'll be able to do a lot more videos during the day where you know you can see shit. But anyway. I just wanted to tell everybody thank you for hanging on. All my subscribers are still there. Love you guys. Remember to uh, like and subscribe, share with your friends. Most of these videos are only for posterity. So later on in life, I can look at them. When I'm gone, my kids can look at them. So, I'm going to do one more of these, I'm going to go get the Crown Vic washed, run a couple of errands, come back, put some stickers on it, uh, jack it up and check over all the nuts and bolts from the lift I did, it's got to make a little bit of noise up front, I think I might have to get a few parts, but hey, you know, that's, that's the life of the mechanic, right? So, thanks again everybody for listening, I know it's kind of a downer story, but I just want to let everybody know so I don't have to keep repeating myself every time I meet somebody that I haven't seen for a while. Um, remember, like and subscribe and all that good shit, and I will, uh, I'll see you out on the bit when I start working on that and get back to normal. I love you guys. See you later.